This tiny little wafer-thin chip could be a better way to explore space than this. In the gold rush to space, you could say we're like the shovel. Once upon a time, Natalia Bailey had big dreams of working for NASA. I would sleep on my trampoline at night and watch the stars and thinking about aliens and watching the space station pass overhead. And I you know, went on to apply to NASA twice to become an astronaut. And I've gotten the thanks but no thanks postcards from NASA, but I'll keep applying. So she had to settle for being a plain old rocket scientist and a founding member of Axion Systems, a startup poised to revolutionize space travel with these wafer-thin chips that, believe it or not, are engines. We're talking about you know, tens of thousands of satellites being launched over the next decade, and currently they have no propulsion solutions, and that's what Axion is building, is, is an ion engine that works on small satellites. Here's the bare minimum you need to know. An ion is a charged atomic particle. By pushing ionic liquid, which is basically a molten salt, into this chip the size of a penny, billions of ions can be discharged at mind-boggling velocities. If you could picture an astronaut sitting on the back of a satellite, uh, and she's throwing tennis balls off the back, uh, each time she throws a tennis ball off, the satellite moves a little bit in the opposite direction. In Axion's engine, these tennis balls are actually ions. Once in space, Axion's chip will increase the shelf life of satellites by years and eventually enable deep space travel without chemical propulsion rockets. But our first flight delivery that went out the door was actually to Irvine High School. So a group of high school students is going to be launching a CubeSat with our system on it. After hawking these chips to everyone from school kids to the Department of Defense, Natalia envisions Axion playing an even larger role in space exploration. Why would you have it any other way? 